So the trims are preformed fiberglass, so we don't prime them. This is the catalyst. Move it around in the bucket. Don't put it all in one clump because it'll be hurt harder to stir. Now you want to give this a good stir for at least 30 seconds to a minute, making sure the paste is completely mixed in with primer. Every stage of this, if done by the catalyst chart, should take between 45 minutes and an hour to set. That's the priming stage done. Got to mix this with the hardener again. Everything must have the hardener, otherwise it won't go off. And with this, you want to give a good stir for at least a minute, really. So again, if you measure out your lengths, if you've got a four metre length, you know you need four kilos of resin, put four kilos in the tin, in the bucket, then you know that that's the right amount for that area. As you see, as soon as the paste starts to mix in with it, it starts to thicken up almost instantly. So, so basically now I'm gonna to start to lay the system. I kind of do it more or less do near enough everything with a roller other than this little corner here. So with your corner where you've got it already cut, you're gonna set it into place. A couple of rollers down that side, it will hold it in place for you. Again, just wet out the deck first. And set your matting into place. You see, I'm drawing the resin back up through. Look at other fiberglass roofs, you will look up and you'll see all the hair patterning on the corners. This takes it all away for you. So now you'll see the difference straight away. See, it's took all them imperfections of that out straight away and it makes it nice and smooth. Now look how much better that's made that front look straight away just by applying that finishing tissue. It should take between 45 minutes, an hour and 15 roughly to go off. We're gonna do the top coat now. I'll give it a sand and a clean with acetone. A 50 gram is ample enough, so I'm gonna use a 50 gram of hardener. Uh, top coat goes down at 700 grams a square metre, so it goes down at a quite a heavy ratio. At this stage as well, you want to be making sure there's no pinprick holes, so that no penetration. I always come with the flow of the roof, just so that, that to make sure all the flow of anything is going to run with the flow of the roof. Don't need to prime the trims. So we put the trims on, then we mask and tape the edges of the trims to prime the deck. Once we prime the deck, we let that go off. Uh, that's set within about 45 minutes. Then we went on to the resin mat resin stage, which is this stage here. Resin on the deck, we put the matting into it. More resin over the top to encapsulate the matting. Let that set, that took about an hour. And then we went on to the top coat and we done the top coat, which is the finished part there. If you can imagine the sun beaming down just on that resin mat resin stage, that's gonna be attacking all of them fibers and it's gonna start to break them down a lot sooner than if we had a separate top layer. That'll protect against the UV for a minimum of 20 years. Just to show the flex and the stretch in it, this is it on a bit of mineral felt. This hasn't even been top coated yet, but just to show you, you can bend it in half literally and it will not crack. There's no signs of any of it cracking.